Hey and welcome to our new vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sarah and the other half adults in Disney is Jeff. And right now we are on the Disney Magic and we're about to do our Marvel Day at Sea. Um, we've never done anything like this on a cruise before, so I believe there's gonna be a bunch of characters to meet. Um, from the schedule we've seen, there's like some extra special shows. Um, there's little like games, like trivias. So we are really excited for today. Can't wait to share it all and it's time for another adventure. It is bright and early, and for Marvel Day, the characters start at 7.45 a.m., so I'm gonna go down to Fathoms and check that out, see who's down there. Flew in this morning. Tony was bragging about this giant Stark Expo he's supposed to have tonight. Oh, he really? It's, uh, out of this world. Oh, okay, so I'll have to make so, sure to attend that. Definitely. Oh. Uh, he has all the fireworks and the dancers and fireworks, the whole nine yards. Perfect, all right, we'll make sure to do it. Yeah, I just worried that with Tony, trouble always tends to follow him. Just here to keep an eye on it. Make sure nothing goes too sideways. Why well, endeavor to see more then? Hello. Good morning, Loki. Good morning to you. Yeah. Oh, oh I, the more important of the brothers. Well, clearly. Of course. Finally, yes. some humans understand. We just got to meet some characters. So in the main like lobby area, we got to meet Loki, and then at the same time, Thor came out, so it was really fun having them both there. We're next going to do um, one of the events. So all these events are like included with Disney. This is going to be the Comic Vault. So we'll go in, see what it is. Haven't, don't have any really, really much any idea of what it is, but we're excited to check it out. All right, which one do we want to do? The Infinity Gauntlet. Anything you wish to be, you are. Anything you wish is. Nothing in this universe dares challenge that claim. Next up, we're going to go meet Groot. We have this in the animator's palette, and it is one that we had to make reservation for, so we'll go check this out next. Did you guys just arrive on the ship? We've been here for a little bit, yes. A little bit. Yeah, we're in here grabbing pictures, and it was supposed to just be Groot according to the sign-up, but Gamora's here, and then over in the other corner is Spider-Man, so we're gonna get a chance to meet a few characters. J. Jonah Jameson? From the Daily Bugle. Oh, yeah, he's yes. in us. Yep. Yes. Okay, uh, well, as you can see, I'm just hanging out today, behaving, not doing anything suspicious. Just being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. We just made it into one of the theaters on the ship, and for Marvel, they have an event that's taking place called Marvel Origins. It's gonna give um, a lot of the background about like the history of Marvel and the characters, so love a good informational type of session. So um, we'll try to share some of that with you if we can get footage, uh, but I'm excited to check it out. To our Marvel Origins, a beginner's guide into the Marvel Universe. All the way back to the beginning of how this Marvel Universe came to be. It all began in 1939 when a publishing company known as Timely Publications introduced its first comic, which was called Marvel Comics. As Marvel icon Stan Lee. Okay, so interesting story. Stanley Martin Lieber used the pseudonym Stan Lee because he was worried about his reputation as a writer. You see, comics weren't a mainstream thing back then, and they were really considered only for kids. So he changed his name to Stan Lee for comics and planned to use his real name for writing legitimate stories where he would gain notoriety. And now we've reached a point where we have over 8,000 different characters. Does anybody see any that they recognize? We just watched the Marvel Origins, which was really interesting. It's a bunch of information. I'd say I'm like, I've seen all the movies, but I don't know a ton of Marvel details. So it was really helpful for that. I think my favorite fact that they said was that Hulk, when he was first introduced, was actually gray. Um, and then in the later, uh, the next issue or next year, I believe, he, they made him green just for printing purposes. But I thought that was so interesting. He originally was gray, but it was fun. On to the next thing. For dinner, there'll be a Marvel themed dinner, but they also have a few Marvel themed items here for lunch. For my lunch, I went with the chicken um, gyro with tzatziki sauce, and it looks amazing. We just got some food for lunch, so I did again that um, shawarma, but then we also got some um, ramen, which looks amazing, and a panini. But probably most importantly is um, we got one of the special drinks. So this is going to be 
um, like a smash. <laughs> it has vodka in it. I'll give it a try, see. It's good, I think there's watermelon in it as well, so it's very nice and fruity. Lunch was really good, the hot dog was good, the uh, ramen was good, and the marble drink was really good. So we had a nice lunch here in the shade, and next we're gonna go try, I think, and draw some marble characters. Good to see you all. We are now heading into the Promenade Lounge and we're gonna do some comic drawing in here. We just got our paper and pencil and I'm not sure what we'll be drawing, so it'll be a surprise. My artistic salons aren't great, but they'll put it up on the screen and we'll give it a go. We just finished up the Animation Academy. When she said we were drawing Iron um, or Captain America, I was a little nervous at first, but it was fun. It was really good. So I love these type of animation classes. We just came into Fathoms and we're about to watch the Captain America show. So I believe it's going to be some singing and hopefully we'll catch Captain America at the end. Captain America show is over. It was about 30 minutes and it was a lot of fun. There was a bunch of good songs, dance, singing. It was pretty interactive like with them dancing on stage and everything. And then at the end, uh, Captain America actually came out and he was there for the last half of the last song, which is kind of a cool experience. Overall, I'm glad we did it. It was just here in at Fathoms and it took place, I think, uh, mid-afternoon and there's one a little bit later on as well. So definitely check it out if you get the opportunity. It was a fun event. Next up, we're gonna watch the Doctor Strange show. So this is gonna be um, the Journey into the Mystic Arts, which is part of uh, today's Marvel Day at Sea. Um, really like Doctor Strange, and it will be cool to check out and see what he does. Imagine. Alternate dimensions, teleportation, a multiverse. It's real. I've seen it. Forget what you think you know and believe in the impossible. Ready for a mystic journey. We are having an amazing day at sea so far. We just finished up with the Doctor Strange show. That happens a couple times throughout the day. Um, it's really cool. So it has him, he has his apprentices, and then there's a few like cool special effects that happen in it. Um, but there's really just so many different things to do. Um, tons and tons of characters to meet. Uh, and we are having a great time so far. Cannot wait for um, later tonight where we have our special like Marvel themed dinner. Um, and then there's also a Stark Expo is what they keep calling it. So it's like a nighttime type of show. So lots more fun to come. It has been awesome. We just stopped in one of the shops and they have a bunch of Marvel Day at Sea items, which is really fun. There's a little like Groot down here. I really like this coffee mug. It is $40, but I love it with the Disney Cruise Line and all the Marvel symbols. You just hold one arm hey. straight to the side. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't notch an arrow. It's okay. Right, there you go. Okay, yeah. so archery got like this. Straight out, yep. Draw string right back into your cheek. Eye on the target. Got it. Okay. And then for your pose, it is a. Of course, like it's feet out. wide apart, uh -huh. left arm on the ground, right arm up in the air, uh, and you have to whip your hair, otherwise it doesn't look as cool. Okay, so. <laughs> I'll practice and then give it a try. All right, proper, full sounds good. We'll be around. So. They don't call her a poser for no reason. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. 
All right, so we are here in O'Gills for Marvel Trivia. We're probably going to do pretty bad, but hopefully it'll be a good time. Four, what is the one thing on Earth Pepper Potts is allergic to? Captain America. Did we get a jacket? We did. Marvel Trivia was a ton of fun, and as I predicted, we did pretty poorly. We got 11 out of 25 right, but we had a good time. Now we're gonna go relax a little bit. We've got dinner later tonight, and then we're gonna check out a couple more shows, and that'll do it for our Marvel Day at Sea. We just took a little break and rest here in the room, and most of the characters we've seen today have been like actual Marvel characters, so there's been a ton around the ship to meet. Um, but now we're gonna head up to Deck 9, which is the top of the ship, and there's supposed to be a little stage show with uh, Mickey and some of those characters, um, and I believe they might have some kind of Avengers attire on. So we'll check that out before heading to dinner and before the night show tonight. <laughs> now about to go meet um, Black Panther and Iron Man. This was one that we had to book a reservation time for. It's free still, um, but we booked it before the cruise, got the time slot, and we're about to go meet them. We just made it in. They have so much good, like the theming and everything around them. It's really fun. Okay, oh. just between us, yeah. but get it right. Who's your favorite Avenger? You, of you course. Are. Knew it. I knew I liked you. <laughs> Let's talk about pictures. The technology, I love it. Maybe it's... not quite as advanced as your technology, though. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, we don't have quite your guys' skill. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> Sherry does very well at what she does. Yes. She is very she talented. Is. I trust you won't tell her. It will go straight to her head. No, oh, okay. no, no, never. We wouldn't want that. The end of it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean it, Sherry. <laughs> I don't know if she bought this thing this morning. Yes. We're now gonna head to dinner. So we are eating at Rapunzel's Royal Table again, but tonight all of the food and um, maybe entertainment as well, I'm not sure, but at least the food I know for sure is gonna be Marvel. So we are gonna head down and check that out next. <laughs> so these are the kid menus for tonight at the Marvel um, dining, but we're gonna we're gonna keep them and order off them. <laughs> so this is so fun. We just got our first course. Jeff went with crab cakes and I went with a puri puri chicken, which is like chicken skewers. They both look so good. For our 
main course, um, Jeff actually got a kid's meal with like mac and cheese. He also did some uh, potato gnocchi. And I went with like a ramen, soba noodles um, type of uh, entree. All of our first course items were delicious and we're gonna try these next. And again, they're all like Marvel themed entrees. All of our entrees were really good. Uh, the gnocchi was outstanding. That was very, very delicious. And then for dessert, there was too many that we wanted. So just Jeff and I ended up picking five desserts. So we'll give them each a try and see how they are. We just finished up our Avengers meal or our Marvel Day at Sea meal here at the uh, Tangled restaurant. And just like last night, the food was outstanding. All the dishes were themed to Marvel characters. It was a really fun day. The only thing left for us to do here on our Marvel Day at Sea is to check out the fireworks show. We're gonna head up there in about an hour. It's about 8.15, I think it starts 8.30. We'll show you what that's about, but this day has been a ton of fun. Way more fun than I ever thought it would be. And Marvel Day at Sea is definitely a win for me. I love the outfits. Do you have a Captain America pose, Mickey? Do you have one? I love it. <laughs> that's great. And then Iron Man, I know Goofy, you can nail the Iron Man pose. Yes, that's so good. <laughs> Greetings, I am Friday, an advanced artificial intelligence system created by Tony Stark, and your virtual host for the evening's grand event. In just five minutes, Stark Industries will reveal its latest technological advancement. We look forward to welcoming you into the future. I am getting a message that we have a special announcement from the bridge. Welcome, everyone. It looks like Tony Stark has prepared quite a party for you. You just enjoy yourselves. And don't worry about a thing, because it looks like smooth sailing. Your host for tonight's thrilling event, the incomparable Tony Stark. <laughs> Attention passengers, Iron Man is officially on deck! Oh, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Friday, for those kind and completely unscripted words. Spoken just as you wrote them, sir. And how about some love for my incredible dancers? Now, who's excited to be here? And that's what I thought. Because tonight is a triple threat. First, of course, there's me. All right, all right, settle down a little. All right, just a little. Bit. Second, I'm unveiling technology that is beyond advanced and will truly change the world as we know it. And third, I may have invited a few friends. In fact, they're assembling right now. Would you like to meet them? One of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s most talented and intimidating agents. She has mad skills, she's dangerous, and I wouldn't want to be back on her naughty list. Please welcome the Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff. Next, we have the Master Archer who claims he never misses. That's because I don't. Show off. Here he is, Hawkeye. How's everyone doing? Glad to be here. And finally, a man who needs no introduction, mostly because he's been around for so long, I present to you the greatest hero I know, the star-spangled man with a plan, Captain America. What, no somersaults or shield throwing? I'll leave the show voting to you, Tony. Where's Dr. Banner? Missed the boat. Thor? No idea. Vision? Who knows? Visioning? What are you worried about? Well, I'm just here to make sure your latest creation doesn't cause any global incidents. It wasn't for the buffets? <laughs> That's why I'm here. And, by the way, when has any of my creations caused any incidents? Global incidents. Do you really want us to count? I might need to borrow some of your fingers. All right, settle down now. Let's get to the reason that we're all here. The unveiling of the next big thing. The device that will propel us into the future. The core reactor. Except maybe for the Asgardian demigod. 
Look at this. A grand gala with some of my dearest friends. And I didn't seem to get an invitation. I'm hurt. Hey, nice entrance, Maleficent. Is this the part where you curse my child? I don't know who Maleficent is, but he sounds like my kind of guy. Now, which of you would like to stop me? Join us. We'll give my ladies. I was held up at the shawarma station. Wait, they have shawarma? Yes, it really is quite tasty. Excuse me. Oh, right. You'll never get away with it. Is that where we were? We've been here before, Loki. You know we can beat you. And you're probably right. But I am one to learn from my mistakes, Captain. Which is why this time, I've enlisted a partner. To see you again, Captain America. Can't say the same about you, Red Skull. Is it just me, or has he become even more hideous? I mean, you really are ugly. Radar shows we've got a bunch of targets heading your way. So get to work. Enough said. And that is my cue to fly. dimension. Maybe we can boost the power surge by utilizing the vibranium in my suit and cap shield. Yes! And Thor, we're gonna need your hand. Rionia is always ready for battle. Great! When cap says go, hit his shield with Mjolnjorn. It's pronounced Mjolnir. Mjolnjorn. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Watch what I'm saying. We don't have time for this. Right. So, hitting that with that will create a surge. 
Now all we have to do is take it to the drums. I shall direct the search. Thanks. I sure hope this works. Shut up, Robin Hood. We got this. The Vibrania will not let us down. All right, team. At the ready. And now! Myself, Thor. I believe this belongs to you. I caught him trying to sneak away. <laughs> this is not the end of the Oh, I can't hold it, brother. Uh oh. Please let them be friendly. Please let them be friendly. Please let them be friendly. Assemble. struggle a bit there, I thought it might be a good idea to call in some backup of my own. Hello, Peter. Come on, man. You know it's Star-Lord. Wait, didn't you leave before me? Quill had to stop for something called soft serve. I already told you, you can't get real ice cream in space. I am Groot. See, even Groot agrees it's delicious. Since we were late, is there anything else we can do for you? Yes, actually. Would you mind disposing of this thing for us? Wait, what? I'm not quite sure our planet is ready for this kind of power. We just made it back to our room and we have Thor's hammer. So this is the best towel thing, towel design. So perfect for our Avengers day. I love it. So our day at sea with Marvel was amazing. It's over now, I'm sad that it's ending, but everything was a ton of fun, especially the fireworks in the show at the end. They absolutely blew us all away, so much better than we expected. Overall, this has been my probably my favorite day cruising of all the Disney cruises I've done is this Marvel Day at Sea. Absolutely amazing time. Thank you so much for following along. We can't wait to take you on our next adventure.